you talk like, what you look like, what you act like. I want to know all that. I love it. It's great. It's the best video I've ever seen in my entire life. Ja Rule up in the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Rap City the basement. Look, and y'all know we back for the Y2G right here on Direct Effect. That's y'all right. know it's no yeah. limit style. No I to represent what is man. You have fun out there on that. That's Tupac Shakur back in 1996 with Jim Belushi on the set of Gang Related. The rapper was turning a corner, becoming a Hollywood star in addition to his thriving rap career. But tragically, that was not to be. An East Coast versus West Coast rap war brought down not only Tupac, but his rival, the notorious B.I.G. Now, two new theories about their murders are stirring up controversy all over again. It's today's Inside Story. As far as this rap game, nobody is close to me as far as one individual singer, and I love that. It was less than three weeks after we talked to Tupac Shakur in 1996 that his life ended in a hail of drive-by bullets. I gotta stay on the positive vibe. All my people gotta stay on the positive vibe. Despite those words, a funeral for Tupac's rap rival, Notorious B.I.G., suffering the same drive-by fate just six months later. Two murders still unsolved, yet two new theories are not only reopening old wounds in the hip-hop community, but threaten to reignite a rap cold war of East versus West. So fares hip-hop mogul Russell Simmons. Media is now staring up, and it's trying to stare up energy that could cause the death of other people. At issue is the recent Los Angeles Times article from Pulitzer Prize-winning writer Chuck Phillips, which comes to a startling conclusion. They say that Biggie asked them to kill Tupac. The they being L.A. gang members who also claim that Biggie supplied the gun and $1 million to make it happen, all as an ultimate retaliation for the ongoing war of lyrics between the former friends, in which Tupac boasted of having slept with Biggie's wife, Faith Evans. You claim to be a player, but I bust your wife. My son was not in Las Vegas, where Tupac was shot, and that's a fact. On MTV News Now, Who Killed Tupac? Numerous sources, including Biggie's mother, refute Phillips' theory, insisting that Biggie was in a New York recording studio providing not only documentation, but an audio tape. I go on and on and on. And... We know he wasn't there. So that basis, the story, is, uh, is, um, has no credibility. I am worried about the impact of all the speculations that come out as fact. It was the night of the Tyson fight at the MGM in Las Vegas. Here he is being congratulated by Tupac and Shook Knight. Enter the new documentary, Biggie and Tupac, which reaches an altogether different yet equally inflammatory conclusion based on the investigation led by former LAPD officer Russell Poole. Russell believes that Tupac's murder was organized by Shook Knight to look like a gang killing. Though Knight, kingpin of the West Coast death row records, was in the car with his death row artist Tupac during the murder, the film presents this Knight motive. Allegedly, Knight owed Tupac millions, and Tupac was threatening to leave his label. Then full speculation goes one shocking step further, that Suge Knight also arranged Biggie's murder. A retaliation, okay, and I think Suge Knight wanted it to, uh, to look that way. It was extraordinary to suddenly be in Suge Knight's cell block, and then we saw him at the far end on the phone. Incredibly, filmmaker Nick Broomfield managed to approach Shook, then in prison for a parole violation to seek some answers. Though this attempt was in vain, we asked Suge Knight point blank after his release. On September 7th, on the night that Tupac was killed, mm -hmm. what happened? What went wrong that night? I, wouldn't, I can't say what went wrong. I think that any time is a tragedy and it's a loss, uh, everyone feels it. Do you know who killed Biggie Smalls? I have no idea. Whatever the truth, rap legend Ice Cube feels no good can come from all the new speculation. You know, it just seems to me that they're trying to stir up the East Coast, West Coast beef again. And for what? Biggie and Tupac is in select cities now.